How do you put into words a game like that? Uh, you know, it's fun being out there and putting up all those points, but when it comes down to it, the only important stat at the end of the day is wins and losses. And you know, walking away with a loss, especially last day for some of these seniors, it, I mean, it's very disappointing. You talked about the seniors. What have they meant to this program? You feel, you know, being one of the underclassmen and looking at those guys. You know, coming in as a transfer student, you look up to the seniors right away for guidance of how everything works around here. And the senior class that we had this year was very special to me because they truly welcomed me into the Syracuse family and the whole community, and I'm forever grateful for them. Any other questions for Zach? Nate? I think Dino referenced the short conversation after you threw the, the interception that was returned for a touchdown. What do you kind of do you take away from it? You know, I just I just got to be smarter with the ball. You know, they did a very good job of disguising their blitzes and their coverages, especially when we went to an empty set. But the line was doing a great job of picking it up, and I just need to uh, be smarter with the ball. What do, you think, what do you think changed in kind of that second half? Honestly, I'm not not so sure. You know, we just were clicking. We were getting the first first down, and I think. Uh, me seeing them tired and us going was, you know, was a great morale boost for us all. Joey? Um, uh, you put up 61 points on, on a good team. You know, does it make you, give you hope for the future? Or, you know, is this something you expect next year? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can play a game like that, it'll, it'll always give you hope. But like I said, unfortunately, you know, we came away with a loss. So we just got to see what we can do. All right. Zach, you're with these guys day in and day out. What improvements have you seen that, that we don't see away from just covering a football game on a Saturday afternoon? I've seen a lot. You know, people have truly changed the way that they act on and off the field. And people buy into Coach Babers. He's a great head coach, and his staff is amazing. You know, I'm very grateful and glad that they're here. You know, I just hope that when it comes to the future, we continue to push ourselves on the field and the weight room and everything and I think a lot of things will start clicking for us.